I'm Katie McClure at Tuck Hill Elementary and this is my third grade class. Today we're going to warm up with a high yield math routine before we get started with our math lesson. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to start today with a which one is different and why. Can anyone tell me what are we doing with this high yield routine with a which one is different and why? What are we looking for? Bree? We're looking for like which number is different and Ooh, which number is different from all the others? What does that why mean? What do we have to do when it says why? Chloe? Um, we have to see which one is like different. Mm -hmm. And we're going to explain what? What are we going to explain? Um, how it's different. Yeah, how it's different. How do we know? So does this mean there's one right answer, just one? No. no. How, how do we know that? How, can we have many different answers? Yes. yes, because there's lots of different ways. As long as you explain your thinking, thinking of your math talk, why did you pick that number? How do you know it's different? It could be different than someone else. The first one we're going to do is we're going to do all together. So no whiteboards needed just yet. I want you to take a couple seconds to look at this. Some things we've seen before in math. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So if you think of one idea, hold up a one. If you think of two ideas, hold up a two. If you think of three ideas, hold up a three. Which one of these numbers do you think is different and why? Give a good explanation in your head. The explanation is the most important part. Oh, like eyes up there. Good job, Elizabeth. Keeping track of your ideas. The next one we do, we'll write down our ideas. Today we're just going to openly share. Ooh, good job, Maurice. Good job, Jalal. Okay, hey, Reese, do you want to start us off? Um, Which one do you think is different? I think 143 is different because it's in number form. Ooh, okay, he thinks 143 is different, it's in number form. Ooh, good connection, Bill, good connection. Okay, she saw that one too. Um, Caroline? I think the um, blocks are different because all the other ones are in like um, different colors. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the blocks are showing us like, um, who remembers what that's called, what are those blocks called? Ooh, bonus, bonus math question. What are those blocks called? Caroline? Oh, um, base 10. Base, base 10 blocks, wonderful, wonderful. So the rest are in, have some numbers involved, but these are showing them in picture form, base 10 form. Love that. Colin? All of those, like, which the one, two, and three, like, all have 40 in them. Ooh. I love that column. Okay, 143, 146, 300, four, 300s, four tens, three ones, and then just one ten. So 40 is an good icon. Love that. Ethan? I think the one why that's 143, um, that's the one why that's It's the only one without a three. Ooh, okay, this one is the only one that doesn't have a digit of a three. Good, ooh, good connection, Braxton to Eason. Love that. Good eye. Let's do one more, one more. Belle? They're all different. They're not, they're all a different number. Oh, they're, they are all a different number. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay, let's stop that one with our all togetherness. Let's look at another one. For this one, I want you to try to write out your math thinking. That's a little tricky sometimes, yes? Okay. Explaining our math thoughts. That's warming up our brains on this Monday morning, okay? So, ooh. Addition and subtraction, our very BFFs, what we've been working with all week. Which one of these is different and why? Once you see one, I want you to write it down and then explain your thinking. Take about 30 seconds to do that. Take your time. The how do you know is the most important, explaining that math thinking. Oh, 
I see a lot of people have similar ones. If you have one, we're gonna take about 15 more seconds. I challenge you to think of another one. What's another one that could be different? Challenge yourself this morning. Good strategies. Okay, who wants to share what they wrote and shared with their table? I heard lots of good discussions, lots of connections. Elizabeth. Um, can I read that one? Uh, read one, read one. Okay. Which one? 17 minus six. 17 minus six? Ooh, let's check that one. But why don't you read this one first? You're on the right track with that one. I think 11 is different because it does not have a plus or minus. Perfect. I think 11 is different because it does not have a plus or minus sign. It is just, it could be a sum, it could be a difference. We don't really know because we don't see a number sentence. I saw lots of people think of that. Awesome. Henley, do you want to share? Yeah. Um, I think I Check the math on this one. Um, Let's see. Look at 9 plus 3. It's different because it has, like, it's the only one that has a double digit in it. Ooh, which one? Which one? 17 minus Ooh, I, I didn't even think of a way to think of that one. That this one is the only one with a double digit number, a two digit number. Nice, 17 minus 6. Did anyone else say 17 minus 6 before a different reason? A different reason? Bernie, do you want to share? I think 17 minus 6 is different because it is the only Love that, Bernie. Thank you for sharing. So we can have different, which we can have the same which one is different, but different whys. I love that. Good examples of different whys. Jalal? I think they're all like they're equal to 11, and 11 is on the bottom. Yeah, they're all equal to 11. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to challenge you with that. Which one is different and why? 17 minus 6. What does that equal? Bernie? 17 minus 6 is 17 minus 6. 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 17 minus 6 Oh, yes? Um, 17 minus 6 is the only one that's using a two-digit number in a subtraction problem. Ooh, the two-digit number and then the subtraction problem. Very nice, very nice. Um, so 17 minus 6 is 11. What's 4 plus 7? 4 plus 7. Chloe? Um, 4 plus 7. Um, 4 plus 7. Is 11. 11. Then we have 11. What's 9 plus 3? Nemi, what's 9 plus 3? 11. Should we check that one? 9, 10. It's, I know we get, we're like 11, 12. 11, 12. I know we get into that, like the feel of like 11s, 11s. Oh, it stops us. 12. So what could we say about 9 plus 3? 9 plus 3. Sean? It's the only one that doesn't equal 11. It's the only one that doesn't equal 11, equals 12. That one was a tricky one. Anyone have any other ideas they want to share before we go on to our next one? 11 is the only one that has two of the same digits. Ooh, 11 has two of the same digits in it. Okay, all the other ones use different digits. 11 is two ones. Very nice. Okay, let's see. I'm going to let you all vote on this last one, and then we're going to do one on with your table mates. Are you ready? Would you like to do this one? No. Oh, no. Oh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Or this one. Um, no. Okay, no. okay. No. this one? Yes. yes. Or this one? No. no. Okay, we'll save this one for tomorrow. Okay. No. Let's do this one. No. Thinking about our four digit numbers. Four digits. And while you're thinking about this one, what we're going to do next is I'm going to give a blank which one is different, a blank one, to your table. And your table is going to make your own. Yes, Henley, your own. So let's get inspired with some ideas. We have four, 9,432, 9,017, 9,526, 8,998. Let's take about 30 seconds to think about that one. OK, let's share. We'll do a quick, we'll just share just a couple, and then we'll start with our groups so we can have time for that. Russell, do you want to share one? Um, 9,017 is the only odd number and the other one is even. Ooh, 9,017, the only odd number, the rest are even. Very nice, very nice. 
Okay. Um, Joel. Eight thousand nine hundred ninety-eight is different than twenty-five thousand nine hundred ninety-eight is different because it is the only one with uh, eight. In which place? In the thousand. Very nice. Good. I love that complete thought you had. 8,998 is different because it is the only one with an 8 in the thousands place. The rest have what? Carolyn, what do the rest have? The rest have all nines. Nines. Very nice. Belle? Um, oh, here. So, 9,017 is the only one that um, has a zero in it. Ooh, the only one with a zero in a place value. Very nice. Love that. Do you want to go, Oscar? Yeah, um, I think it's 8,998 because it's the closest to 9,000 and the only 8,000. Ooh, throwing a little rounding in there. I like that. This is the closest to 9,000 out of all of them. This one is the closest to 9,000. Love it. Nemi? Ooh, it has two nines. Very nice. And the rest have one. Love that thinking. Okay, let's do one more. Love it. Banks? I haven't heard from Banks this morning. 9,017 because the others equal 7 or minus 7. The others equal 7 or minus 7. Okay. Because if you add the 3 plus 4, that equals 7. Or if you add the 5 plus 2, that equals 7. Or if you add the 8 and the 8, those equal 16. And then the 9 minus, and that equals 7. Okay, I like that. So you were looking at the, dig the digits in the number. Very cool thinking. Love that. Very creative. I was just thinking about someone doing those digits. Good job. Very nice, boys and girls. Okay, let's erase those boards. You can cap your marker, okay? There's so much more we could think about with this. It's a good way to warm up a math brain. We'll come to this one tomorrow. This is a, look at these, this is what y'all are doing every day in class. The four digit addition and subtraction. But what I'm gonna give you now with your table is I'm gonna give you a blank which one is different and why. With your table, oops, sorry, Bernie. With your table, you're gonna make your own. Okay, you're gonna work together to make your own. Then I'll collect them if we have time. We'll pass them out and people will solve them. If not, we'll solve them. We'll turn them around and solve them with other tables tomorrow, okay? Just like how we made our own mystery numbers, you're gonna make your own this, okay? Talk with your table how you want to do it. Do you each wanna make a number? Do you wanna to try to find a theme? Do you wanna do something with adding and subtracting? Something with place value? Something with rounding? Whatever you want, okay? Work together. Be creative, trick our minds. Are we ready? Okay. One per table, you can put your table number on top. And I'm gonna set a timer for two-ish minutes to work on this. Okay, what are we thinking? You, you guys decide. Together, the nice number, we would write all together to make it fair. Sounds good. I like that thinking. Good talking. Who's going first? Uh, I think Ben. What'd you all decide? Oh, and you can use your boards to help you if you want it. Just writing our names. Um, okay. Do you need to have a number because I can make one? Um, I get one. No, just let your friend. Okay. You can also use your board to write down ideas before you finalize on here if you want. I like that backwards thinking, like which clues do we want them to find? That's a good idea. I love that. What you can do when you're done is then Wait, try to find your own oh. similarities and differences between the ones you make. Maybe okay. you're sitting up. we could make um, three oh, subtraction or three adding or I think one subtraction. Yeah, that's a different. There's 
Like we just said, okay, people can say this one's different because of its value, right? It has no value. Um, why can people say this one is different? I did the same one. It does equal Let's make this a one. Yeah, one that one is what? Plus. Yeah, that's a difference. Okay, so try to think about those together. Ooh, that one has, one has regrouping. Ooh. Ah. Make it like six. No, don't make it the same as that. I made this. Make it a number, but it's still a six. Make it a six. Plus it's on this side. But you can do whatever number you want. Well, it's going to be a one. I think it's going to be a six. Just the front has to be six. This is the only one with no value, I guess we could say. Yeah, maybe. It's the only one that really doesn't have doesn't have a value more than 10. <laughs> yeah. Zero minus zero is the only one that, that's minus the only one that equals 15. The only one that equals 15? What should we do? Uh, I have no idea. So what should we do? This one is the only one that equals 15. That's what I just said. Okay, let's do it. Boys and girls, this looks awesome. We'll do one quick switch. So what I want you to do is hold up your paper. Are you ready? <laughs> Y'all look at this one. Y'all look at this one. Oh, okay, keep working. Y'all look at this one. 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 So I want you to look at the, another groups and figure out which one would you say is different and why. There's lots of ones. We're only going to take one minute to do this, then we're going to wrap up. We're going to stop here. I want one person to hold up the paper for me. I'm going to collect them because we're going to pass them around again. This will come into our new rotation of some high yield math routine warm ups. Why do we do these? Why do we take time to do these? Bree, do you want to start us off? Um, should we like, get our brain going? Yeah, what, what is it requiring us to do when we think mathematically? It's getting our brains going. You want to finish with that? Requiring yeah, we're thinking a little differently, okay? So what have we been working on in math so far? What do we have a test on on Wednesday? Um, we have a test on... Estimates. Yeah, estimating, addition, subtraction. So we've been kind of working on one thing, and we have patterns, the way we're doing them. High yield routines help us grow our brains. Think about math differently. Bell? Um, I forgot. <laughs> it's okay. Colin? Uh, it kind of makes us like, get ready for the day. Yeah, gets ready for the day. Our brain is up. It's awake. We're practicing that math talk. And boys and girls, we'll do this one tomorrow since we're almost out of time. But once we practice explaining how things are different and why, we can even do problems that look like this. How are these different and why? What? What? Huh? We'll do that one later. Okay. Thank you for watching our math lesson today. We are five houses. We are one family. We are Tuckahoe. T-E-S. Bye. Bye.